Giving thanks may be the focus this week, but it's also an opportunity to talk to kids about finances. And we, we have Thanksgiving, we also have Black Friday. Author of Teaching Kids About Stock, Stories and Lessons for Grown Ups, J.J. Wenrick, says there are a lot of financial lessons that can be learned this time of year. And J.J. joins us live here this morning. Good morning to you, J.J. Good morning, Eric. How are you? Great, great. Thanks for being here. You say this will help our little minds avoid becoming one of the 57% of adults who are financially illiterate. That's a, that's a big number, and it can start uh, when they're young here, right? So where do we start? Yeah, you know, when it comes to talking about money with your kids, we always like to say you want to start as soon as they're old enough to know not to put the coins and the bills into their mouth, that you can't really <laughs> that's early, you yeah. start too young. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially when they're, you know, collecting money with chores and they're learning the value of a dollar and how much toys cost. I mean, this is a good time of year to start using some of the things like the food and what we buy and the shopping as examples, right? Absolutely. We're always looking for reasons to talk to kids about both money and financial skills, but also any introduction to any company that we can talk about to help them, one, learn about the company, but use that as a bridge to introduce them to what stocks are and how to uh, just learn a little bit about the basics of the stock market. We like to kill two birds with one stone and teach the financial skills, the basics of saving and budgeting and that sort of thing. But also anytime we can talk about a company that is publicly traded, it helps them start to see things through that lens, if you will. And Thanksgiving, Black Friday, just this perfect time to both talk about you know, saving your money and being ready for those deals, or maybe, you know, you let the, you don't let the fear of missing out get into you and you, and you pass up on some of those deals, but it's a good time to talk about money. But also, as you'd mentioned at the beginning, the thanks side of things, it, it can be a great chance to visit giving and, you know, what your family does for that and maybe pass those messages on to the kids so that they understand um, where you're coming from with those values. They definitely know companies just by seeing the commercials and the marketing and everything. But boy, when you start looking around the table, you start to see, you know, a handful of companies that are that are present there. And then that can translate into a conversation about stocks. And is that one way to kind of go about it? Yeah, absolutely. You have the companies that are represented on the table. You have the company that's represented in where you maybe bought a lot of that stuff or, or a handful of companies. And so those are always good conversations. And even if it's not a, you know, a, a stock that you ever end up wanting to buy, it's just good for kids to hear about businesses. And you talk about the supply chain that goes into a grocery store that brings that turkey to your table. And those are just good conversations to have with kids. And you know, a lot of those companies are publicly traded, so they can become conversations about stocks. I think my my nine year old's very good at math. I think he's a brilliant kid, but I just think his eyes would gloss over if I started trying to tell him about stocks and the stock market. I mean, how do you how do you get past the math, the finances? This is what a dollar is to what the stock market is and what it can do and how it affects mommy and daddy. Yeah, you know what I like to do is bring it into the, their world because it might be tough to get a nine-year-old to get excited about Kraft ketchup or you know sure. Campbell's soup or anything. But if you can find things that are going on in their world, especially with Black Friday, if they're excited about the PlayStation Five being released yeah. or anything that's in their world, and then explain to them, hey, that's a pretty cool business they have right there. You know, everybody's waiting waiting in lines at GameStop to get a hold of this stuff. Do you know that you could be an owner in that business? Okay. Well, I could own that business, and then that keeps it relative to their world. Yeah, that's a great idea. And, and so in your book, you kind of walk us through a little bit about uh, how, how we can not only just teach the kids now, but how, how that helps them down the road. Yeah, absolutely. Whether they actually invest money in those companies or they just become you know, business owners, business managers, employees, it helps them to keep that perspective to learn about those things as they grow up. And we can get a lot of good investment ideas from our kids because – yeah, as you probably know, marketers spend a lot of money to find out what the teens are thinking. Sure, and, and when I, and I, I ask my daughter all the time, you know, what are what are your, you and your friends buying? Because I never know where I might be able to to sneak a stock a stock pick out of her. There you go. Yeah, that's smart. You're doing a little homework on your own, aren't you, <laughs> JJ? That's good <laughs> stuff. Thanks for walking us through your book and some of these ideas here this morning. It's a great conversation to have. Thanks for your time, JJ. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Have a great Thanksgiving.